Hey everybody, Alan Sanders here with the AVL support team, and this is the first in a series of videos about how we use ProPresenter 7 here at Life Church. If you've ever used ProPresenter 6 before, you know this looks a little bit different. It might look a little bit scary, but that's okay. I promise you it's going to be a lot of fun, so let's dive in. We're going to start by taking a look at the general overview of where everything is located in ProPresenter 7. Let's start with the library. Up at the top left hand side you'll see the library and it's probably called default if it's a brand new computer. The library is where all of our songs and stage time slides are located. If you'd like to search for a song, just go down to the filter field and type in the name of the song. To rename a song, all you have to do is single click on the name and rename it. Right below the library are our playlists. Playlists are just folders that contain different elements of our service. Let's add a weekend playlist. Up at the top left hand corner, click the plus button and then select add playlist. We can name it weekend and then start to drag songs into our playlist. It's as simple as drag and drop. Once we add all of our elements into the playlist, we should be able to see all the slides in the center part of the screen. Let's say we accidentally added our songs in the wrong order. All we have to do is drag and drop them to reorder them. If we want to delete a song, all we have to do is right click on the song and click delete. It won't delete it out of the library, only out of the playlist. Another cool feature about playlists is a continuous button. In order to see songs back to back, we need to go to view and continuous playlist. If we only want to see one song at a time, we'll make sure that that button is unchecked. Now that we're familiar with libraries and playlists, let's take a look at a couple other features that we use all the time. Up at the top right hand side is our clear all button, the big red X. This clears everything on the ProPresenter screen. Just to the right of that you'll notice a couple other buttons. In order to understand what some of these buttons are, we first have to understand what makes up a slide. Slides are made up of foreground and background, foreground usually being text and background usually being pictures or videos. So basically if we want to clear the text off of a slide, we click the clear slide button. If we only want to clear the background, we click the Clear Media button. Speaking of media, let's talk about where to find it. Up at the top right hand corner, you can select the Media button, and that'll show you all of the videos and images in your hot folders. We'll cover that at a later time. But hey, that's it for now. That's our general overview of ProPresenter 7. I'll see you next time.